Hi, Dolores. My name is Michael. Thank you so much for writing in to us at thelifecoachhub.com. I'm very happy to get your question, and uh, it's my pleasure to answer it to the best of my ability. I sincerely hope that this helps, and um, let's get started. So what you talked about was being a devoted friend and always there for all of your family, um, but you want to be treated as well as you treat them and uh, you want to feel as important as you make them feel. And your last question, which is I know a difficult one, a very painful one, which is should you cut ties with them? So let's get right into it. Dolores, I'm about to tell you some things that are not going to be easy to hear, but I want you to know that I'm here to support you and, um, and I understand you and I see you. Here's the problem. You're looking for validation in them. In a way, and less though, more than in a way, you've used them. Now, that's not to say you're not an immensely generous person. I can feel your love, I can feel your heart, and I can feel how much you wanna to give to the world. The problem is, and what I mean by that you've used them, is you've used them to give to them instead of giving to yourself because you can't see yourself. You're afraid to look at yourself and to see how wonderful you are. You know, we're mostly afraid of our uh, light and our power much more than that we're bad and our fears. It seems that we're afraid of our fears, but really we're afraid of all that we are. And you need to stop being afraid to look at yourself, to see how wonderful you are. Now that won't happen overnight but it will happen slowly. And I wanna guide you to notice each time you wanna to give to them. Now, giving is not a bad thing, it's wonderful, but we need to give for the right reasons and in the appropriate time. It, picture this, it's the old metaphor of putting on your oxygen mask on a plane. You must put on yours first if you're to be there for anybody else. And also, we sneakily use other people to avoid looking at ourselves. So we give to them, hoping that they'll love us to replace the love that we're not giving to ourselves. So I call upon you and all of your strength, all of your joy, all of your beauty to honor yourself, to look at yourself, to see yourself in all of your glory. I want you to count your victories. I want you to, See what a wonderful person you are. I want you to pay attention to all of the times that you've had love in your heart and all of the successes you've achieved. And I want you to spend, at least for now, less time helping other people. This is a time for you. This is a time to focus on you, to build your inner strength. And I also want you to forgive yourself for each time you gave to someone else out of feeling that they haven't given to you. You know, my friend, we can't buy other people's love. And as hard of a pill as that is to swallow, it's a blessing from the universe. It's trying to show us you don't need it from other people. Now, are we all one? Are we to connect with other people? Is that what our real purpose is, to share our love? Absolutely. But that can only be done once you have connected to your own bliss, to your own wholeness. Then you can give out of a space of plenty instead of giving to get something. You know, it's like when we give a gift and someone doesn't say thank you in the appropriate way, we really get a chance to see if our gift was given from a clean intention within us just to offer it. You, my friend, don't have the strength right now to keep giving. You've given away more than you've even been able to. And I can, I can feel that that resonates with you. You have given too much. Now it's time to get out of the minus and give to yourself. And I think to wrap up, that answers your question on whether you should cut ties with them. Make no moves. You are to make ties with yourself. That's your action move. The rest will figure itself out. All of my love, if I can be of any assistance, feel free to reach out and I know you are going to be an amazing, an amazing success story. I know it from the bottom of my heart. 
Take care, my friend. Be well and treat yourself with all the glory and honor that you are. Take care.